So um, anyway, it was really spicy, so I'm all sniffly. I am a vegetarian, yes. I... I have been for... Mm, oh, I don't know, five years? <laughs> I will no longer be on Warp Tour. Just to answer all of your questions about Warp Tour, I'm not visiting, I'm not going to be on Warp Tour at all. Um, I was only on for the first week, that's it, I'm done. Um, I won't be there the 7th, I won't be there the 3rd, I, all that. Um, I'm going on tour with the Go-Go's again, so I will be out doing my own tour. Um, let me have you, let me tell you this. My satellite is not touring with the Go-Go's. I am, I work for the Go-Go's, so, um, there's the difference there. <laughs> yeah, BBB Bridesmaid18 says, Dallas Ruvendura, as you answered on Formspring many times. <laughs> it's very true. Um... Kimmy Tiger says, will you do vlogs? You know, I haven't done a vlog for a good year or so. Um, I just, I think I kind of lost, it. I'm kind of over it. Um, I don't exactly know why, I just kind of think it's a little invasive um, to the people that I work for. Um, I had a really, really good time doing it last year. Um, this year, because the venues are huge and, like, you know, the band is, is really big and uh, it was just kind of a privacy thing that um, I, I choose to respect the people that I work for. So, um... I don't know if I'll be vlogging. I captured a lot of, like, random stuff from my experiences, um, this last tour that I did. But, uh, I, I just don't think it's interesting enough to make a vlog out of. <laughs> I'm trying to read. It's so quick. Is Trisha also in my satellite? No, she's not. <laughs> Trisha's my really good friend. I thought I've known her since high school. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna scroll down a little bit. Ah! So fast, I'm sorry. I that was a really bad idea to scroll up and scroll back down. <laughs> uh, okay, simply just says, Sammy, what's your advice for aspiring live photographers? Um, I would say, um, get yourself out there. Um, go to as many live shows and, and local shows as you can, and uh, you know, ask if you can take photos of the band, and then just say that you're gonna send it to them afterwards. Start up a Flickr account. Um, and display your photography. Just uh, start learning everything you can about your camera, and uh, you, there's never a point where you're going to learn too much. So um, just have fun with it. The way that I was, just high school is for being awkward, really. Um, it's not until you get into like your early 20s when you really start figuring out who you are and what you're about. So yeah. I was not bullied in high school, no. I, if I was, I um, I didn't pay any attention to it because I was too oblivious. <laughs> perhaps I... Perhaps I was oblivious, I don't know. Um, I went to a very small school too, so it was like, if somebody fucked with you, then everybody knew about it. Oh, thank you very much for my birthday wishes. Uh... Um, trying to read. <laughs> I Slay Malt says, early 20s, oh, you're too old for my levacious tastes. Uh, okay. I'm too old. Wow. I've never been told that I've been too old to before. That one gets me. <laughs> I'm probably about 10 years older than most of the people in this chat room. Except for Kimmy. <laughs> um, what inspired you to start photography, says Sarah. 
Um, when I started doing photography back in 2006, um, I was in a band, but we broke up, and I had for about two or three years, and I was kind of put off by the entire music industry, and it, I was kind of put off by everything, so I kind of, kind of uh, became a hermit as far as uh, getting involved again was, but I knew that, especially in this industry, if you lose yourself, if you lose your momentum, you have to start all over again. So I knew that um, I needed to keep my name out there, so I chose to do something that had always interested me, and uh, I got myself a camera, and uh, still became, or still was involved with the music industry by taking pictures of bands play, and uh, that's pretty much where it started. Do you have any websites with all of your photography? Um, I have my Flickr account, but um, I stopped uploading stuff on there. Like, you can either find it on my Flickr or um, my Google Plus when you guys get Google Plus. If you get Google Plus, um, like most of my pictures that I haven't released are actually on there. And Natalie, yes, you can come say hi to me in Dallas at, at the uh, GoGo show, of course. Oh, for fuck's sake, I don't look like Kat Von D. Thank you. I can't see many people's things because it just went all black. Okay, there we go. Alexis Amber, where can you find the GoGo's tour dates? Um, you can find them on their website. Um, go to, I think it's thegogos.com and then just go to tour. And there you go. What is your advice for starting a band? Um, my advice is, it. I, I'll, I'll be honest with you, it is entirely so hard to find people that are as dedicated as you are to creating something with a like-minded vision. Everybody's always going to want to take the front, or they're not going to be active enough, or they're going to be flaky. Um, my advice is just to find people that are really dedicated and know how to play their instruments and can play in time and just work with it and see what happens is uh, what I think. <laughs> uh, Zena asks, have I ever been in Europe? Yeah, I was, um, I was born in England and I lived in Spain and uh, I've been back, <laughs> I've been back and forth a lot. Trying to read it all. <laughs> I'm trying to read it all. It gets it goes so fast. It like stops for a minute, and then I'm able to like read it, and I'm like, oh, there's so much. <laughs> um. Am I afraid of sharks? This is really funny. Um, Alan Sanity says, uh, "Am I afraid of sharks?" No. Um, I'm afraid of everything in the water, to be honest, but, um, I, it's like, it's like this, this fear that I overcome that I, I like, I really want to go, like, snorkeling and scuba diving in, like, some really awesome places. Um, I used to go to marine science camp, and, and, uh, there's an island off of California called Catalina, and, uh, we would always have to go, like, snorkeling and, like, swimming a lot, and, oh, no, this is awkward, hold on a sec, hello. I'm on stick right now, can I call you right back? <laughs> I said I'm on stick can I call you right back? Alright, bye. Well, that was my sister. <laughs> like, well, this is awkward, hmm. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, and there was always like sharks and, and, and like seals and things all around it, and I was just so terrified <laughs> of everything. Um, but sharks, no, I'm, I'm really excited about sharks. Um, uh, we're staying at Mandalay Bay for my birthday, and uh, they have a shark aquarium tank there, so I'm very excited to walk through that and hang out, and uh, I'm sure there'll be lots of pictures. <laughs> I, 
I'm so excited for Shark Week. I totally have to, I don't fangirl out about anything, but um, Shark Week uh, tweeted me a while ago, and I totally retweeted it. I'm like, oh, I got all fangirl. <laughs> Uh, Jessica, my, um, my ringtone is, um, it's a song called In Fire and Whispers by, uh, IMX. It's, uh, my favorite song. Thus far. <laughs> uh, yes, Stephanie... Yeah, Stephanie says Chris Corner is a genius. Genius. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. I'm just patiently, patiently waiting for him to come back. You know, the, the last time I saw IMX, no, that's a lie. I was going to say it was in Spain, but it wasn't because they came here afterwards. Never mind. <laughs> How many apps have I gotten for my iPhone so far? All right. Um, I'm new to this. I'm really new to this thing. This is really cool. Um, let me look. Uh... Okay, so I've got Twitter. Um, this is really going to get me in trouble. Formspring has an application, uh, so I have that. So um, I'm probably going to be Formspringing all the time. Um, not that I don't already. Uh, Facebook, Foursquare. Uh, I have Instagram. No. Um, Words with friends. I have like a ringtone maker. The Chase Mobile one, I have that app. Because uh, you can like take a picture of like a check and then all of a sudden it's in your bank account. Amazing. Um, Tumblr. And then I have, uh, this is the only game that I have, um, Fruit Ninja. <laughs> I, have, uh, I have Fruit Ninja. Except I don't have the paid version yet. I have to wait. Um, I have Fruit Ninja Lite. But it's amazing. <laughs> I had a talking shark yesterday, to be honest, but um, I got rid of it. I, I don't, I just don't think I can get into Angry Birds. Like, everybody keeps talking about Angry Birds, and, uh, I can't. I just, I can't do it. <laughs> Fruit Ninja, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't have a high score in Fruit Ninja because, uh, the light version only allows you to go up to 125, so, um, I have to wait until I can actually buy it. I just, I'm so lazy, and my, my credit card's in my car. So I have to go all the way out there. My car is like parked like a mile away. So I would rather um, not walk out there and just be lazy and wait for somebody to make me come pick them up or something. <laughs> I am in my room now. Yes, this is my room. This is me and Jinx's room. This is actually our bed that I'm sitting on. <laughs> Ooh, bed. <laughs> Dude, okay, uh, the, another thing, for those of you that do have iPhones, because this is like my, I've had two iPhones before, and, I mean, none of them were as cool as this one, so, um, it, uh, autocorrect, that's a very interesting, uh, very interesting tool. <laughs> Cut the rope. Oh, my god, Robot Unicorn Attack is on there, too. I know I have to buy it, but just, it's just another thing. I'm just so lazy. I can't go out to my car right now. <laughs> yeah, bee bread. Exactly. What the fuck is bee bread? I think I said hee hee is what I said, and it corrected me to bee bread. <laughs> robot Unicorn Attack. Ah. Kimmy Tiger says, what do you like about Game of Thrones? Um, fucking everything. Uh, Jinx and I fucking love that show so much. Uh, I, I would say, like, I don't know, when I got home from Warped, I just started, I, like, downloaded all of them and watched them all, and now I'm really sad that I did that, because it's over. I have to wait until next season. I love everything about it. It's amazing. <laughs> it's funny, um... Jinx and I started watching it uh, while we were actually on tour, with uh, the Warp Tour, and we got, we got so into it, he calls me his Khaleesi. <laughs> so, I'm like, oh, that's really cute. I really like that. I, I approve. <laughs> A 
Um, I watch it, Lulu14, I watch it on the internet. Um, if you go to like, what's it called? Um, like, what's that site that I go to? I can't remember. Um, message me on Facebook about it later. If I remember, I'll, I'll let you know. It's not Hulu, and it's not an illegal website, by the way. It's not Hulu. Do I realize that my room matches my hair? I guess it does. Hmm. It's not, okay, it's not, uh, let me, god damn it. The site that I watch it on is not an illegal website. It's licensed through HBO. And it's like, it's like HBO something. So they put it up there. Thank you. <laughs> it's not Netflix, no. Um, I think Trisha's here. I know she's here. <laughs> but anyway, um, good time. Ah, <laughs> oh, geez, my sister's in here now. Wonderful. Cool. <laughs> There's an app called Finger Shark. I know. Uh, and Nanu Nanu says uh, there's a there's an app called Finger Shark and it attacks your fingers. I know. Um, I was doing that and it repeats everything that you say too. Like um, I I had said something out loud and then like it started talking in my voice, but like shark voice. <laughs> Oh, I'm reading so fast. Oh, so fast. I think I think most of this recording is me gonna go. Uh, it, it, it's me saying, "Oh, it's going by so fast." <laughs> Thank you, everybody who keeps asking me how Jinx and I met. Says, "Goodness." Okay, it's going way too fast. <laughs> you can change the color of the shark? I didn't know that. Shit. <laughs> I shouldn't have deleted it. Uh, that you guys are asking me how Jinx proposed and I am keeping that between him and I. I put too much of myself out there on the internet and there's just some things that I would like to keep to myself and that's one of them. But thank you so much for all your support and uh, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> wow, that like, that stopped a lot of people asking. <laughs> Um, yeah, <laughs> shit. I'm trying to read again, it's all crazy. Ah. Anyway guys, I'm thinking I'm gonna head out. I think I'm, I'm gonna head out because uh, I gotta call my sister, she just called me. And uh, we're trying to, um... We're trying to organize our Vegas trip, which is happening this weekend. So, ah, everybody's all like, no, don't go. <laughs> I'm going to call you in a minute. Jesus, my sister my sister got off the phone so that she could come in here to harass me in here instead of on the phone. So i got to call her back. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Um, check us out. If you guys are in the Los Angeles area, um, anywhere between uh, or anywhere on July 29th, come check us out. My band's called My Satellite, and we're headlining at, I think, 9.30 um, at Amplify. Um, you can add us on Facebook. It's facebook.com slash mysatellite. And, uh, yeah, you can pretty much uh, check out my music and see what we're about. Um, I am back on Facebook. I have one public Facebook, only one. And uh, I will see you guys through some other uh, version of technology, I'm sure, very soon. <laughs> So bye guys, thank you so much for watching, and uh, until next time.